I don't know if you've ever muttered. I don't know if you've ever murmured. I don't know if you've ever been discontent, displeased, if you've complained. What I do know is that God's Word talks against this. God's Word over and over again shows that grumbling, grumbling is not how He has created us. It's not what He's called us to do. And what I know about grumbling is it's not just a generational thing, uh, a thing that happens in the midst of politics and um, debates and uh, election years. Grumbling is something that's been in us as God's created children since sin came into this world. You see that through the scriptures. You see that throughout history. Right? Some people might say the generation that exists today grumbles more than the generation before. The reality of it is we've all grumbled. There's always been reasons to complain, to grumble. That temptation is very real. But what I love and I want to get to preach on this upcoming weekend is that grumbling won't always be part of our story. Grumbling won't always be a temptation. Grumbling won't exist in heaven even though it has existed here Uh, on earth. Grumbling. What are we supposed to do when we have complaints, when we're displeased, when we are not content with the situation? What do we do with that? Saving Private Ryan, I was just informed by my work colleague here, friend, uh, that our complaints go up. Our complaints go up. Right? Think about that. Right? God's Word says complaints go up. God's Word invites us. God invites us through His Word to complain to Him. That's called lamenting. There's an invitation in the Psalms. There's an invitation in the book of Lamentations. There's an invitation where God says, bring it all to me. Bring it all to me. And if you're going to bring that lament, bring your thanksgiving also, but bring it all to me. So oftentimes we bring it to each other. Is that what God calls us to do? Certainly if you have complaints, right? Is venting good? Right? Is God calling you to do something with that? Is God calling you to look at the good, to understand the full situation, to seek to understand before you're understood? Right? It doesn't mean what has happened, that it's okay, but that never gives you permission to grumble. I don't know how else to say it. Right? Certainly you can go to a counselor if you need help with situations to figure out how to move through it in a healthy way. Uh, again, God's Word gives us each other, gives us the power of prayer. Right? If we're going to talk to somebody, we talk to somebody with grace, right? with patience, with compassion. Right? But grumbling is not how God has created us to be. Right? Grumbling is supposed to go up. Complaints go up. They go up to God. And so give those complaints to God today. And my hope, my prayer is that you and I, we can stop grumbling. And when we're tempted to grumble, that our grumbling will go up and that God will teach us how not to be people who grumble. May we not grumble this week.